<clears throat> Welcome back to Sunny Cornwall, and uh, today I'm talking about shooting bands, gigs, in specifically in small venues. Uh, last week I went up to Brighton to shoot a band called Gospel Beach, they're over from uh, LA on a tour, uh, and uh, they're playing in a small venue called Prince Albert in Brighton, which is a lovely little old school music venue, only holds, I don't know, 100 people, maybe 200 at a push. Um, so it was nice. It was, it was a it was a challenge. Um, when I've shot larger gigs in the past, you'll notice that whatever whatever's happening on stage, the artist is always lit. There's something. There's a light on them. They they know. You know. They come with a lighting designer. They come with a proper lighting rig. Uh, and yeah, no matter what's going on on stage, they're lit. Small venues, you don't normally have that luxury. So uh, what I find is you just end up with a wash of colour. There's no sort of definition. Uh, So the decision I made, based on the lighting, but also because it was, uh, the shots were for me, the shots were for the band, they're not not for print, they're not for anything. So it was, um, you know, I decided to go with editing in black and white. I thought that at the time, I knew I was going to edit in black and white. So, you know, not worried about the colours at all. Um, but as you can see from these pictures, the the difference between the black and white and the colour, you know, obviously it's down to taste. But for me, the wash of colour just makes for a muddy picture. It's not. There's no real definition. Uh, I like uh, I like the contrast. I like the black. It's black and white. It's you know, it's it's rock and roll. It's old school rock and roll. It's it's black and white pictures. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, so you can see, yeah, the colour ones are a bit, a bit muddy. Don't really like them. Um, I also shoot in black and white, so I would set my camera. I was shooting this particular occasion, uh, EOSR, Canon EOSR, uh, with a twenty-four to thirty-five, the Sigma twenty-four thirty-five art lens. Um, and but what I do is I set my picture profile, my picture style, to monochrome. So. When I look through the viewfinder, I see a black and white picture. And the reason for that is the colours then not playing a part in how you're metering. Even before mirrorless, when I used to shoot um, 5D 1, 2 and 3, um, I would still set the picture style to black and white. So that when I took a shot and I would chimp to have a look at it... um, I'm not worried about the colour. I'm not worried about the the colour wash if there was you know some off-putting colours. All I'm worried about or concerned about when shooting in monochrome is contrast. And you can see the the highs, you can see the lows, you can see the blacks, the whites, and it just makes shooting a lot easier. I was shooting as I said, I was shooting EOS R uh, with a Sigma twenty four thirty five. I just had the one body, the one lens, uh, and you know, I was shooting f2, probably ISO 1600, maybe 2000 to get a decent shutter speed to get everything crisp and clean. Uh, but then what I did for a couple of songs is I would drop the shutter down to I think it was about a 50th of a second to get a bit of movement as he's moving around with guitar, as arms are going up and down. It's it just adds a bit more feeling to the shots, which I really like. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, th- these aren't for print, these aren't for for the you know, for anything where anything where it needs to be super clean and crisp this is for me this is for the band so it's an artistic um choice i made uh, but you know i quite like it adds adds to it i like i like the feel of it it's um yeah it's not everyone's taste but uh for me i like it it's uh it's it, it, i want you to feel like you're there you're part of the part of the band you're at the gig so drop in the shutter get a bit of blur i like it it's nice um I mean, this is just my take on on shooting smaller smaller venues, but um, there's obviously a million techniques, a million ways of doing it. This is how I did this gig. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Always good to hear what people uh, people are thinking.